That's so bad. <laughs> okay, wait. Am I going to be this way in the interview or that way? I can smell no, the fart. It, it <laughs> All right, YouTube, so you guys saw what I got, Miss Ari Kitty, you know what I'm saying? Little yeah. dick in a box. <laughs> but honestly, we're here to, you know, see where she's coming from. She's a music artist, uh, influencer as well. And we met, um, well, unofficially, I guess, during the first quarantine. About like a year ago. TikTok. Yeah, in like I March. duetted his TikTok. Right, like a Fifty Shades of Grey one that you guys saw. That one went viral. That was pretty good. I'm into that shit, just so y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't? I feel like all you guys are into that kinky right? stuff, right? Not too much. I'm not going to say anything crazy, but like, you know, basic. I, that's a whole nother. Interview. Right. She's not going to say nothing crazy. She'll do crazy shit. But yeah. You know, gonna, yeah. She can show you whether she can tell you type shit, right? Like right. That. Right? So anyways, guys, so she's going to have a music video coming out real soon for you guys. That's what I'm going to leave it at. I'm not going to leak too, too much because, you know, you don't want to talk about things before they happen. So I just want to kind of pick your brain apart. Uh, before we kind of embark on this adventure together, you know, and you've been to Vegas a few times and we linked up mm -hmm. uh, Did our collab on OnlyFans if you guys remember that yep. um, She had played a small role in that, you know, but she still played a role. It was pretty good But I just want to ask you um, a few questions about us like your music and you know, first of all, where are you from? Like tell them where you're from like so I'm from that? the Bay Area from California. So near San Francisco okay. Yay area like that tell them, Okay, I won't start doing that <laughs> get all hypey and yeah we got like six minutes left in the hotel so there might be like housekeeping <laughs> i know they just started knocking that's why i was like distracted and started rapping e40 yeah real tough so <laughs> you're from you're from the bay you grew up yeah. in the bay so who was um an influence in terms of your music from the bay uh, too short and e40 mac dre those were like okay. my three biggest um i say e40 mm -hmm. and then kind of as i got older too short too short i love he's one of my all-time favorites um okay. Hella cool in person. I got to meet him um, like a little over a year and a half ago. Awesome, fun person. So that okay. was like a highlight. Okay, and guys, she has a style that's very. She has a street style to her. You know what I'm saying? Like she looks like a sweet girl, but she knows how to really put those bars on you and make you feel some type of way. So that kind of style of rap. Were you like a battle rapper at any point? Or was it more like okay, this is how I'm feeling. I'm gonna put pen to paper and just kind of just tell bitches about themselves. Like how more of that, more the second. So I never I can't it's hard for me to just spit shit out without writing it first. I actually have to write so for yeah. me. So I just and for me I'm all about uh females empowering their sexuality. Mm -hmm. And so that's why when I wrote this song, a lot of it Persian drip is about basically money the persian part like money diamonds like middle eastern like all that kind of like slick oil money how i was saying in the song but then also the part of like us women finally getting to be dominant and me saying flip me over use that tongue hit that spot and make me come oh, suck that juice like it's a plum oh, so when i was writing those i really was like this is what i want you to do to me because a lot of women don't have that voice and a lot of women don't say that to the guys they're with yeah they can't say you know, and I've been like that before. You know what I mean? When you're younger, it's hard to say, flip me over, use that tongue. But now, I have no problem saying that. Okay, so with that so with that being said, let's let's get to the sexuality side, right? Because yeah. the crowd here is a little bit older. They're around 25 and up, and everybody kind of cares more about sexuality, which is fine. So this is exactly right up our alley, right? So let's talk yes. about um, women being dominant in the bedroom. Do you think that should be more of a thing? Do you think that will turn more guys on and teach guys to kind of have more of a, a backbone, you know what I'm saying, in the bedroom? I think so, but I like the give and take. Me personally, I like for like exactly what I was saying, me saying like, you know, get down, do this. But then when he says the same thing to me, if you're an alpha male, I'll also be submissive. But you have to show me that you can be an alpha male. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my thing. Like, if you want to lead, lead. And so a lot of guys nowadays, I see a lot of comments on different like blogs and stuff. A lot of guys basically, in my opinion, want to be treated like how girls okay, used to be like treated. A king, like a king. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, let me massage your feet, you know, mm -hmm. after I suck your dick. Like that, right. that, can I say that on YouTube? Yeah, that's fine. But, okay, but niggas can't provide yeah. no groceries and shit. Exactly. Nobody's just complaining about bills and but spending But if you were alpha and you taking care of me, you know, like in, in any type of way, I'm talking about like financially, emotionally, like, you know, right. being there for me, being like, babe, let me help you with your video. Did you do this yet? Right. It's like a bunch of different being ways. Being attentive, being attentive, yes. that matters. Then you do that and you say, baby, you know, can we do this? I'd be like, bust it open. You know, like I'm more, I get in that mode of like, I will be more submissive to you if you take care of me. Okay, okay. So I like both, but I also do like to be able to be like, babe, 
flip me over, use that tongue. Do this, that, and the third. I think I think that turns a lot of guys off. Yeah. Um, I feel like it makes a man kind of feel like you know, demasculated. It demasculated yes. a little bit. You know what I mean? And there is a the thing about masculinity, guys, is that there's a little bit of feminine to it too. You know, but just a hint. Um, and feminine energy is unbothered, you know what I'm saying? Like, a little bit of unbothered energy goes a long way, I would say. So, okay, so let's let's move a little bit away from that now. Let's talk more about uh, your current situation now and the music and how you're trying to get in. Like, would you rather sign with someone right now or would you rather go independent moving forward? I'm independent right now. I would actually like to sign with someone because I feel like I need more guidance. You know, I'm new to music, so for me, I actually would love to eventually sign with someone like having to do this music video by myself I've learned that it's very difficult you know not only like the budgeting and all that stuff like having to like fund right like your song promoting it putting it out but then putting out a music video but then someone saying no this is what you're gonna need this is the treatment you're gonna need this is the actual you know script this is I need someone directing I need it behind the scenes like right. all of costumes I mean everything I've had to do is like a full-time job so that's that's been a lot so I would love, you know, eventually to have help with that. Okay. Well, now I'll say this. Um, one of the things I admire the most about you is that you're, you're so great at marketing yourself. I feel like a lot of people in general don't do a great job of that. And I think you're elite with that shit. Like, Thank you're at 200,000 followers on Instagram. You're killing it. And 202. A lot of it. Two, look at how fast that was. She was just at 200, and I feel like yeah. that all started during the quarantine. Like I saw, mm -hmm. like you kind of tapped in, and you got into your bag during the quarantine. Like, no, nah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna do something special. So, with that being said, you're a star now, and you know everybody you're getting a lot of attention, more attention than you're probably used to on social media anyway. Yeah. What's your DMs looking like? My DMs are crazy. I actually wanted to start doing the TikTok, and I did for a little bit, and then I kind of took it down. But I actually wanted to show them what my DMs were, and I might <laughs> do that again. <clears throat> You might get put on TikTok, y'all. Oh, man, watch out. Don't be writing no stupid shit. I know. Because, I mean, they are crazy. Like, sometimes I get poet, you know, like a lot of poetry. Sometimes okay. sweet things. Other times, someone literally just writes boobs. That's it on my DM. I don't mm -hmm. even know what that means. Sometimes they just, you know, write um, send video. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's very random. Um, but then I have, you know, people who are verified, you know, with the blue check mark, kind of like, you know, this guy. Like, not him, but I'm just saying the blue check mark type. Because you know those people, you answer their DMs usually because it comes to the top request part. So you see it. Verify right. people you see before the other DMs. Right, I get that. So because it's towards the top, there are definitely some people, you know, hitting me up, wanting to, like, link up and do stuff. But you got to be careful. Because some people just, you know, I'm learning okay. a lot about this industry. It's all about one thing, so. And I mean, look, ladies, there's nothing wrong with fucking your way to the top. If you feel like that's something that you got to do... All right, just be safe, bitch. All right, but like, you know, like y'all be safe. But I'm gonna just say, you know, there's two ways to do it, though. You know, yeah. you can make them respect your craft right away. Yeah. And then again, you could be in the position to do what you want to do with these exactly. guys. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess the final thing I would say is, you know, what do you want to say to your fans out there, and you know, looking forward to this summer. I just can't wait to show you guys this video. I can't wait to shoot this video. I can't wait to show you what we're working on. It's gonna be amazing. I got my main star in the video. Like, I'm super excited about that. It's, you're gonna have all, I can't, again, give away too much, but I'm working hard on this. this. This is gonna be like amazing. So, and then I think when you guys see the visuals for the song, you're gonna get the song more and just really be more into it. Persian Drip. Persian Drip. Coming soon to a YouTube near you. All right, YouTube. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You already know the vibes. Yeah, you know, yeah.